hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel I'm Tanya and I went to the bins for the very first time All right hi I'm about to head on into the bins um, I am so excited I know I won't be able to man a camera so I will see you when I get out and I will show you all my goodies I'm just showing you through the window this is what it looks like inside the bins Okay, so I am fresh out of the bins. It was an amazing experience. I didn't expect it, but I ended up getting furniture. I got a table, so now I've got to take that apart in the parking lot and try to fit it into my little car. Thank goodness I have a hatchback, and I also have a screwdriver in my car. Why? Because you never know. All right, so here's the table in pieces. I did get it into my car, and there's a whole nother leaf I haven't brought out yet. But this table was only $8 at the bins. I've got to clean it up, sand it down, and I'm actually only going to use the legs on this to build a whole new table. I had such a great time that I had to go right back the next day. So I'll actually be showing you my haul from both days. I will be going back there lots, so if you really like Goodwill Outlet bins hauls, please hit subscribe and ring the little notification bell because I'm, I'm obsessed now. I'm going all the time. My hauls are so different. I mean, it, it was like a brand new store both days. So I'm, I'm just excited to share it with you, so I'm just going to get started. One of my very first finds was this pillow. I'm doing a makeover on my back porch, which I will be showing you guys once it's done. It's just taking its sweet time getting there, but it will be perfect back there once it gets cleaned up. Also, make sure you stay until the very end because I've got a big announcement. This carrying bag is so cute. It's got a little tropical print on the inside. I love the outside of this. I am in love with these colors. I'm just in love with them. This first part of the haul, this first day, so many bags, just so many purses or bags or whatever you want to call them. Uh, this one is really adorable. It's got these little leather-ish. I don't know if they're really leather. They're probably faux leather. But the bag itself, this wicker bag, oh my gosh. Or the, I guess it's a, like a seagrass. It's like a seagrass. <sighs> Wonderful. If you have been watching my channel regularly, then you already know that I am a basket fanatic and I won't waste your time apologizing once again for it. So I found this basket there. So beautiful and in absolutely perfect shape. <sighs> this basket as well. This basket was an amazing find. Uh, I can't believe I found this in the Goodwill bins, which is like leftover stuff that nobody wanted at Goodwills. Unbelievable. This cute little purse. How cute is this? How did this thing make it to the bins? How did any of this stuff make it all the way to the bins? I found this gorgeous little purse. It definitely needs to be cleaned up. It's suede. Uh, I'm going to put some suede cleaner on it and get it back to its rightful color. It's a Banana Republic purse. It has this adorable little bamboo handle. I love these bamboo handles. I am big on these bamboo handles right now. Okay. I mean, what do I even say about this cute little basket? How cute is that? I don't know if I've seen anything like it ever. The colors, just so cute. So I have to say this about the bins. I had way lower expectations. I am so surprised at what I found there. I, I can't believe it. I still, I cannot believe it. I got this at the bins too. I am so sorry for the weird lighting changes during this video, but I'm just gonna show you the sky really quick. California is right now one huge ball of fire, so we have these kind of smoky clouds going overhead and it blocks out the sun for a little while. I usually try to stick to $20 whenever I go thrifting, wherever I go thrifting. And I did this day stick to $20. So the first haul was 20. I have one more thing and I don't know about it at your Goodwill, but for some reason at my Goodwills, I feel like the lamps have just gotten 
out of control in price. So I was really shocked to find this lamp that I picked up for $5. This thing is so heavy. This is so heavy. This beautiful solid brass lamp. I have to take this off. So here it is. Look at the detail on this thing. Is that not stunning? I love brass. This made me go nuts. I loved it so much. I am not going to use this as a lamp. I don't usually um, pick up, I don't think I've ever picked up a lamp at Goodwill and used it as a lamp. I like to take them apart, just gut them, and turn them into vases or candlesticks. I mean, because look at, isn't that a gorgeous, gigantic candlestick? And $5.00. In case you've never been to the bins, they price some things different because most of it is by weight. You throw everything in a tub and they weigh it and they tell you what the total is. And then other items like that, I mean, nobody would buy that brass lamp because I don't know what it weighs, but it's pretty heavy. And that is just a standard $5 for any lamp. So that was a killing. Okay, day two, round two somebody loves you really really Ray Dunn platter at the bins mm-hmm I love copper I put it in my kitchen so I grabbed these and I mean it's hard to say what all these things cost uh, these might have been I don't know like 20 cents a piece or something 30 cents a piece I got these cute little beads which are probably pretty expensive for beads. I got this little basket. It's coming apart a little bit, but there is a side where I can turn it so that it won't be noticeable. I don't remember where that side is, but I promise you I found one. I really like this pattern and these colors. I dye over it. I have a couple of other items that are the same that I found at Goodwill as well that are this same pattern. <sighs> Love. I've been collecting hats for DIYs. Found a couple more of those. Found this abalone shell that is absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really lightweight. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's about average abalone shell weight. Feels kind of light though. And it has this kind of plastic, plasticky overlay on it. I mean, it feels real. It's obviously abalone, but very pretty. Prettier version than I've ever had. Um, I found this made in 1978 beard power handmade beard comb cute I don't know if it's actually vintage or anything I highly doubt it but I just thought it was really cute and I just had to pick it up I forgot a hat I got another hat this solid brass door knocker I thought this was going to be a fortune because everything's by weight, but no, they gave it to me as, what did they call it, hardware, I think just general hardware, and so this was 49 cents. I didn't have to pay for the weight because it would have been, it would have been really expensive. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. There's sticker on it still and some scratches and stuff. I'm going to get it all cleaned up and then I'm going to put it up in my house. This bag is full of little wooden acorns. I'll just set them out probably at Thanksgiving, like in a little bowl. <sighs> Precious. I have a leather belt obsession. I use these in DIYs too. Sorry, I use a lot of stuff in DIYs. I do have them posted on my channel. I always forget to put cards up in my hauls or thrifting videos. I'll, I'll put one at the end or I'll put a card up here. And I'll definitely list my latest DIY videos in the description box below for you. Cutest little ornament perhaps ever. So cute. Isn't he adorable? He's so funny. Necklace I thought was really cute. Little ceramic doodad. This little candlestick holder is made out of wood. I love stuff like this. It's just got a real kind of like a modern feel to it or a, oh, what is it called? It's brain dead right now. You know those things called words? 
And sometimes you need them and you can't find them. Yeah. Mid-century modern. That's what I was trying to think of. It has a mid-century modern feel, which I love. I really love picking up thrifted wooden items. One of my favorite things in home decor. This one has an engraving on the bottom that says uh, Old Dad. I can't read the top, but 2001 Old Dad. Somebody, it looks like etched, obviously etched in themselves. This little bowl, I can't tell you how smooth it is. It feels amazing. I want to put my cheek on it. And the bottom is interesting because it looks like it might have been a lid, actually, but clearly not from the inside. So, <sighs> drool. I drooled over. I'm still drooling over this bowl. I love this. This little box, this is just, you know, papery stuff on the top or whatever, but I want to decoupage it and recover it, and I think it'll be really cute when I'm done. Probably sand it down. I got these two little tiki figurines. Something about them I really, really liked. Um, I really like tropical Hawaiian that kind of vibe that kind of feels I really thought they were really cute this little wooden bird I love little wooden animals again he needs a cleanup but so adorable all right did this really happen did I really find a Kate Spade purse at the bins oh I did I really really did let me show you. Look at that. It's Kate Spade purse. Again, needs a little cleaning up. I'm going to take a little leather cleaner to it. Unreal. I got some clothes this time, actually. And because it's the bins and someplace new and I had never been and some of you may have never been, I decided to pick up a little bit of everything that they had. Got a t-shirt. A little dress. This one's from Old Navy. They're nothing fancy, but they're cute. At least I think they're cute. <laughs> I got the, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks to me like it goes on the top of a post of some kind, or maybe uh, a stairwell post or something. And, but it'll make a perfect, like, um, either stand so that I can put my little figurines on them or a little shadow box has lots of possibilities wow the sticker on this from Goodwill before it was at the bins says $4.49 would you pay $4.49 for this I wouldn't I can tell you I would have only bought that at the bins <laughs> the other thing I will say is that I will never again complain when Goodwill way overprices something at their regular retail stores because I will just go ahead and suspect that a lot of that stuff is going to end up at the bins and I will really luck out and get it for way cheaper than I should have. I picked up this little belt. You know, it's like a little macrame belt and I'm just going to use, I don't know how to macrame, so I'm going to use this in a project and just really cheat and skip over the whole macrame part. I found this little wine cozy that I think will be super duper cute during the holidays. This one was devastating. This is a purse made out of eel skin. It is so stunning, but it has this, clearly vintage, but it has this problem where it's busted through, you know, which I'm sure is why it ended up at the bins. I don't, honestly, I don't know if that's going to stop me from carrying it. I got this pretty little wood box. I love wood, carved, anything. So pretty. Found another decorative leather belt. In one of the bins, I just happened to hit wooden animal treasure pay dirt. And I got this little turtle. I love turtles. I really have a thing for little wooden animals. And this one, this little wolf, howling at the moon, it's just precious. And there was this adorable little buffalo. I think this is a rhinoceros. Let me know if you agree with me. And here's the back. And it's got this little piece that comes off. So you can, and it's kind of 
velvety or something in there. Cute little trinket box. It's real wood. This is just the kind of stuff that I love. This little elephant was adorable. These all still have sticker gunk on them and that will be really easy to take off. It's not going to ruin them in the least. I just haven't had a chance yet. I was overly excited to show you. This one probably went to a box like the other one and the back is missing now, but still so super cute. Wait, is that part of that box? Where did it go? Oh, shoot. <clears throat> That's not to that, is it? Oh my goodness. That is so funny. <laughs> okay, wait. It was not a rhinoceros, it was an elephant. And this is all one piece, so. Good to know. Like I said, just brought it home, turned on the camera, wanted to show you everything. This um, might seem strange, but again, because I do a lot of DIYs, I picked this up. It is a mop, actually, it goes to a mop, but uh, or a um, sweeper duster, whatever you want to call those things, but it has never been used, and, sorry about the car, and it is going to be used for a DIY. Last but not least, I got this amazing jacket. So vintage, so fun. My son would have gone crazy over this, and he is who I got this for. It is a large, where's the tag? Come on. Okay. It is a large 40. I found this jacket in what would be like a men's clothing bin. All the other clothes in there were for men. This jacket actually turned out to be a woman's jacket. So I'm crushed. I'm glad I didn't tell him I had it before I figured that out. <sighs> really super cute. I don't know. Um, just darn near perfect, honestly, and to find it at the bins was amazing. If you're into vintage leather jackets, it's a real leather jacket. Okay, so the big announcement. I have had quite a few people asking me in the comments lately if I have a store. I did not have a store, but I am opening one online on Poshmark. And I wanted to let you all know, I am still currently thrifting for and selecting and photographing and uploading all of the photos. That's all happening right now. So very soon I will be giving you the link. I will include it in the description box of this video the minute it's finished should be later this week. Odds are the link will already be in the description box of this video when you see it. If not, check back. I will definitely be adding it here and I will let you all know exactly where to find it in the next video. I'm so excited. That's gonna keep me kind of busy this week so I'm not sure if I'll have extra videos but I might so still make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell just in case. Thank you so much for coming with me for my first time to the bins. I'll see you next time and until then happy thrifting.